warmly welcome. I have a very special guest with me right now. Warmly welcome, Ben Ark. Thank you. I like to be introduced as a very special guest. It's nice. Good for my you ego. are a very special guest. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I think you have attended the Mallorca Blockchain Days already for three. Yeah, three, three times. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. It's because it's, it's like a retreat. You get yeah. to hang out with a, some really high signal, great Bitcoiners and, mm -hmm. and people in the industry. Um, yeah. And there's no kind of bravado. So some conferences they'll separate speakers from attendees mm -hmm. which is a shame because we're all just bitcoiners and we don't want to hang out and talk you know yeah um whereas that doesn't happen in the orca blockchain days in orca blockchain days everyone's kind of accessible and sit, they're sitting around chatting it's very relaxed very informal mm -hmm. um and you've got some incredible talent and speakers here as well so it's no it's a real pleasure to come back and uh I hope to come back next year as well i think it's just on the calendar as i always go to my york blockchain days that's you know? amazing thank you yeah I really love the comparison with retreat. Yeah, I think you should get that in the website that it's mm -hmm. a, a retreat. Something about how a bit for how it's a retreat because I, th I feel that's what it is for a lot of us. Yeah. We come here and then we just spend a few days. You near the sea, so you can go for a swim, mm -hmm. and then you're chatting, you're exchanging ideas. And, yeah. um, and when, when you have an event like this where it's very relaxed and you're able to just talk quite candidly with other people who are working on other projects, you come mm -hmm. away and you have all these great ideas which you can then work upon. Um, mm -hmm. when you get home and you're back in front of the computer or whatever. <laughs> um, so it's, it's, it's very beneficial, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think it'd be nice if you kind of got that in the, the website there, <laughs> Retreat. So what are you currently working on? What's your favorite project right now? Uh, at the moment, I'm, I've kind of got too many balls in the air. Like, I like concentrating on one thing for an intense period of time. Um, whereas at the moment, because with Ellen Bits, we have quite a lot going on. And yeah. also we've got some Nostar stuff going on as well. So I kind of finding it hard to focus. Um, and also in LM Bits, we're still in beta, so we're mm -hmm. pushing hard to get out of beta, which means we're doing a lot of core stuff. Mm -hmm. So the, the project itself doesn't like it's changed much in a, in a month, which isn't yeah. that much time. But for me, I like kind of rapid change because it gets me excited. Oh. But we've been consolidating all of our extensions and making them work better. Um, and then also working on the core software and then also working on, because we have a uh, for profit business arm, we have LM Bits Inc, which owns LMBits.com. Mm. And then the offer services. So we offer, if you think, it's kind of like the WordPress.com for WordPress.org, mm. where somebody can easily go, they can spin up an LM Bits, they can buy, like, we have a shop where we sell some of the hardware which we work on. Mm. Um, so that's been fun building that. And, uh, but it's also, because I can sometimes take work away from developing, which is the thing I really enjoy. Mm. So I think make, going forward, I want to try and make a little bit more time for being able to sit down and grind and have a few days and develop some stuff. <laughs> All right. So what are your plans for next year with this project? Um, I think a lot more NOSTA integration because mm -hmm. a lot of people in Bitcoin are getting uh, very interested in, in AI and AI services and how different AIs might be able to talk to each other over Bitcoin. Yeah. But for me, I'm, I'm excited over NOSTA because I think it's absolutely huge. The, the amount of energy and attention it's getting. Mm -hmm. Particularly now in this past week when you've had Mark Zuckerberg come out with threads, you've yeah. now got this, this, this narrative, which I think will become more prevalent in, in, in with the, the general press, that you have uh, Elon Musk with Twitter, then you have Zuckerberg with threads. And then also, oh, hey, the, the guy who used to own Twitter has this, is really excited about this thing called Nostar, which is like a free and open mm -hmm. source alternative. And every time there's any kind of censorship or if there's any sort of um, controversy on one of these centrally controlled platforms, it's mm -hmm. just driving traffic to Nostar, and, yeah. and Nostar is so incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. The clients themselves, like I use Amethyst on my Android, yeah. and it's absolutely fantastic. It's a better UI user experience than Twitter, like mm -hmm. without all the decentralized, you know, no central authority type stuff. It's just, it works better, it feels better. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to in LM Bits, because LM Bits is a very good tool for builders to be able to use in their stack to build on top of. Mm -hmm. So we have a, um, a couple of extensions which make offering Nostar services and then also building Nostar services on top of it, building Nostar services that a little bit easier. Yeah. So I'd like to extend on those and then maybe build some more clients. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the thing which I'm really interested about. Yeah. And what's uh, going to, to, to be done in the next year. Well, um, I'm very excited uh, to having you here. I really Thank hope to see me. you again yeah. uh, next year at the Mallorca Blockchain Days. And since you're mentioning that it's a, like a retreat for you, yeah. I really hope to, to see her again. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. For